this type of stuff that people need to just take a minute to cut out of the trail. This one, or bring out of the trail, this one was at the wrong height. So it's gonna whack somebody in the head. And I don't want this here either. And then that thing is almost, that's kind of, it's a little bit dangerous. There we go, that's better. Oh my gosh, that was close. What I wanted to talk about is how many freaking flies there are, like, I was like, hey, maybe I should have one of my G2G uh, protein slash energy bars. But there are so many freaking horse flies. I've stopped a couple different times uh, today. Horse flies, deer flies, holy Jezebel. Can't even take my helmet off. It's bad, so. I'm just gonna roll down to the truck and have my energy bar down there. They didn't seem to be bad at the staging area. It's so beautiful right here. I just wanna like stop and smell the roses, but I can't do it. If I leave my helmet on and my goggles on, then it's not like crazy bad, but who wants to eat an energy bar inside of their helmet? Ain't nobody, you know? And since I'm not a thousand million miles from the truck, I'll just roll this baby down. That was a lot of butterflies right there. Lots of butterflies, man, that is a rut and a half right there like that rut is literally only as wide as my tire that makes it kind of hard it's like as wide as my tire and as deep four inches deep makes it hard so yeah just a shorter ride today Just enough to wet the old whistle, as they say. I'd say keep the skills sharp, but I don't think the skills are very sharp right now. The bike's running good though, and the forks doing amazing. Can I get an amen for, I wish we could get Okay, this, this is a 2024. I wish I could get this motor and these forks on a 2023 XEW frame. Like that, my friends. That would be, oh gosh, I just pounded that foot peg on a rock that was sneaking out there. Um, that would be amazing. Because I don't like the 24 XCW frame. It feels bigger, heavier, longer. It's definitely less, a little bit less nimble. Um, it, and that's third gear, guys. I just made that sucker go in third gear. It doesn't get as good a traction on the rear end. It doesn't turn as tight. It's just more rigid. I don't like it as much as the 23 frame. Like you get the, uh, if you could make me a 2022 or a 2023 frame, the XCW frame, slap this TBI motor in there with these forks Is that a third gear? 
run up that from a, almost the stop. That's a lot of tractor power. Oh, that was only second. Okay. Mike. Anyway. That's what I want. That's on my Christmas. You can put that on my Christmas list. Kyle wants what he can't really get. Maybe I have to make my own. Get me an old 23XC dub. But I doubt the motor mounts would work because going to the TBI motor in the new frame, I bet you the motor mounts aren't the same. <sighs> but if they were, if they were, you know that point you have to lift your feet because you know your foot pegs are gonna scrape? Yeah, that's happened a couple times in this monologue. One time, yeah, one time I really hit the peg hard, wiped my foot off as I was raising it off the peg. But, I digress. I'm sitting here giving you the perfect enduro bike. Unfortunately, I don't believe the 2025 frame is any different. I haven't seen the 25s, but in person, but I think they got like a different swing arm, which is weird. But yeah, this, the motor and the forks are amazing, so that's what I focus on. I don't get as good a traction. Like I screwed around with, I had a bunch of these 24 XCWs. This is the third or fourth one that I've owned in the 24 model year range. And I've messed with that a little, you know, I haven't had it revalved, but it just doesn't get the traction. Like it's, you just don't get the fricking rear tire down as much on the ground to give you the traction that you want, that I want for hill climbs, for loose, nasty, rocky hill climbs. And it's sad, makes me sad because there, there are certain hill climbs, you know, that I used to be able to do with ease. And I just, I just can't anymore. So, yeah, there's that. I don't know if the PDS, with the way they've got this, if the BDS, PDS just isn't cutting it anymore with the new frames and the way the traction is manifested. And look, a lot of times you don't even notice it. It's when it's really loose, really rocky, and really steep. Uphill is when I notice it. So nothing today has really hindered me because I haven't had anything techy. Um, but yeah. That's my thought. That's what I wish I had. Forks are amazing. These XCW forks, this Explore closed cartridge spring fork in the 2024 model year is the best they've ever done on one of these bikes. For single track enduro stuff, this is the best fork I've ever used in stock form. So yeah. 